Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Eric. Uh, there are usually two ways for system to send a regular message to a mobile phone number. Uh, it's a way of directly communicating with the wireless network operator by attaching the SIM module, which is a hardware module, and using the SIM card or eSIM contracted with the telecommunication company like AT&T or Verizon. In this case, SMS can be sent from anywhere via carrier without a Wi-Fi network. Uh, however, you need a SIM module hardware and you may need a prepaid or postpaid contracts. Uh, if you don't have a network available and you are sending a lot of data, I recommend using this way. This is the only way in this case. Uh, on the other hand, if there is a Wi-Fi network available, SMS can be sent or received using services that support the API. Uh, in this case, we will use Twilio's service to configure the system. Uh, let's get started. Uh, here is a workflow to send an SMS from ESP32 to the mobile phone. Uh, it's super simple as you can see here. ESP32 calls the API provided by Twilio using car or URL. Then SMS will be sent to your mobile phone through the carrier contracted with Twilio. Uh, Twilio allows the software developers to programmatically make and receive phone calls and send and receive text messages and perform other communication functions using its web service APIs. Uh, all the API is provided in various languages, CAR is the best that ESP32 can do. Also, the company provides a library for ESP8266, making it so easy to send messages. Uh, I will use the library some crates for ESP32 based on this ESP8266 library this company has. If you cannot use this company's API in your country, please look for other company's services. Uh, there may be a company that provides similar solutions in your country. Uh, the first thing to do is making an account in Twilio. Uh, I will show you everything from the beginning. Uh, put in your name, ID, and password, and click the start your free trial. Uh, you will receive a confirmation mail soon. After checking your account, the sign-up process will proceed. Uh, next, you need to verify your phone number. Insert your phone number and press verify to send a verification code to your phone. Uh, enter the verification code you received, and all authentication is complete. Uh, here, it's asking you a few questions about what features you will use. Uh, SMS, of course. Uh, perhaps they are trying to organize your page with this. Uh, we'll use Twilio based on code. Uh, I have preferred language, but I choose other because I'm going to call the API using curry here. Uh, the hosting service is not required. Uh, finally, I can see Twilio's account page. Uh, because it's a free trial account, I got a $15.50 balance for the first time. It's great because I can test this and that for free. Uh, for information, a 0 0.0075, which is 0 0.75 cents, will be charged per SMS message. Uh, please check the price policy. Uh, after the account is created, the first thing to do is to create a Twilio phone number. To send a text message, you need the number of the sender. Of course, you can get an SMS with this number. Uh, I will choose a phone number that starts with my local area code rather than the random number. Uh, this is unnecessary work and you can skip it. Uh, there are many available numbers. Uh, let me choose one of these. If you select a number, you will pay $1 immediately. This is the cost of the number and pay will $1 a month. As a result, I have already used $1 of the trial balance I received. With this number, not only voice, fax, SMS, but also MMS can be sent and received. It's very good because we can use it as a regular phone number. Uh, now let's take a look at the purpose of this project, SMS. Uh, select send an SMS from the menu and there is a web console page where you can try to send an SMS. Uh, it says that you need a messaging service and tell your phone number to send the SMS. Uh, the Twilio phone number is created, so we must create a messaging service. Let's put the messaging service name. I will send an SMS from ESP32, so I will call it ESP32 SMS. Uh, you must select the Twilio phone number to use with this messaging service. Uh, select the phone number you just created. So we are all ready to use the SMS service. I'm ready, so I will actually send the text message to my phone from the web console page. Uh, to phone number has my phone number set. Uh, the trial account can only send messages with an authorized phone number. Uh, you can select the messaging service of the ESP32 SMS for the message service SID. 
Uh, now it's the time to enter the body of the message. Uh, I will send, uh, this is a test message from the web console and click the send test SMS. Uh, the message was sent normally. Uh, I can check the message from my phone right away. Uh, the message sent from your Twilio trial account is included because it's a trial account. Uh, this part is a bit disappointing, but I don't care because I, I can test it for free anyway. Uh, call the call you see here to the HTTP post and the message will be sent to your phone. The good thing is the company provides the ESP8266 library for Arduino IDE. This makes it very easy to send and receive SMS from the device. Uh, in addition, someone has created and published a library that is available on ESP32. What a beautiful word. This makes it very, very easy to send and receive SMS from ESP32 to your phone. Uh, let's go to Arduino IDE. Uh, search Twilio in the library. Then you can see the Twilio ESP32 client library created by Adam Dumuri. Uh, I want you to install this. Uh, after the installation is complete, uh, go to File, Example, uh, Twilio ESP32 client. Uh, select the Send SMS. All we have to do here is find the keys it needs and put them in. Uh, first, uh, put in the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Account SID and OS token can be found on Twilio's dashboard. Uh, we can also find it on this page, but there is a place where you can copy and paste very nearly. Uh, in code resources, uh, select Get Sample Code. Uh, you can copy the account SID and OS token by pressing the button. I'll paste these two keys into the code. The sender's number should be the Twilio phone number we made earlier. Uh, let me find it and paste it into the code. Uh, as I said, the trial account can only send it to a verified number. Uh, I will use my phone number. Uh, for the body of the message, I'm trying to send this message sent from my ESP32. Uh, let's unload it and check the results. Wi-Fi connected, uh, connect the Twilio API. It says sent message successfully. And I got a text message on my phone right away. It works very reliably. Uh, as you can see what I did, it's very, very simple to send the SMS through the API. Uh, let's say if you have a project already done and simply want to add a part where you can send a text message. Uh, I will show you adding this module to one of the projects I have done. Uh, this was a project to update temperature data from ESP32 to Firebase Cloud Firestore database. In this project, I will create a class called Messenger so that I can send sensor values to SMS when it's in certain conditions. Uh, the project you see on the screen is explained in every detail in the previous videos. Uh, if you need it, please check it out on my channel. Uh, I will complete the adding part very quickly. Uh, there is nothing special to do because the library already does everything. Uh, before it sends an SMS through Twilio's API, I will only add the parts that checks if the Wi-Fi is connected. Uh, this is because there is no meaning without a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, the Messenger class has been completed. Uh, in the main, I will create and use one object from this class. I can send an SMS every time the temperature is updated, but this will bother me a lot. So I will set it up so that I can send messages only under certain conditions. Uh, first, send an SMS when the temperature is above 28 degrees and below 18 degrees. Uh, also, SMS should be sent even if humidity is over 60% and below 20%. Uh, when I send the message, I will include the information about which sensor it sends from. Uh, this sensor is called House Room 1 because it will be located in my child's room. Uh, like this, all the parts are done. Uh, let's do the actual test. Uh, here you are.
Uh, you can see both my iPhone and ESP32 TTGO, which is with DHT11. Uh, the system is starting, the Wi-Fi is connected, it's also connected to Firebase. Waiting for temperature data to be read. Uh, I got the current temperature and humidity. Uh, however, it does not meet the conditions for sending SMS. Uh, I will blow it to increase the humidity. Uh, seems like that's not enough. Uh, I will try again. Oh, it went up. Uh, messenger send message function is called because it meets the conditions I have created. SMS is sent through Twilio's API and it works very well. I have confirmed that I keep getting text messages because it meets the conditions for sending text messages. Uh, like what I did, you can easily add the features to your project and set up SMS to be sent only under certain conditions. If you have any problems, please comment below this video. Uh, you can also view all messages sent and received through Twilio's monitor. Uh, let's take a look at Rogue's messaging. Uh, you can see that everything is recorded. If you look at the most recent text sent, uh, you can check the delivery status as well as the text I just sent from ESP32. It's very helpful to manage your records. Uh, that's all for today's project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next project.